Hey folks, my name is Tommy Fitzgerald. I'm a local chef here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And you know my motto is, is go local or move. Well, a lot of people don't even know this, but Sparta is one of the country's biggest producers of amazing apples here, right in our backyard. So we got with River Ridge and they're saying, Chef Tommy, can you come up with the recipe? And I'm thinking, what's easier than pie? And I just wanna go over it with you and I'd love to show you how easy it is to do this. First thing you wanna do is you wanna preheat that oven to 425 degrees. That's getting all set. Now then, I take out, I cheat, I admit it, I cheat with a little bit of pastry dough from the uh, dairy case. And what I do is, is I take that out. While that's getting room temperature, I start peeling my apples. Grab your favorite, your John Gold's, your Macintosh, whatever you like, and you start peeling them. This recipe is going to take about, uh, about eight or so. So first thing we do, we're peeling those apples. Now we're going to cut them up nice and thin. I take my knife right away. You don't need to buy a fancy core or anything like that. And I just go down and cut around the core. And it's just that easy. We're gonna need about six cups. Usually this is about six to eight apples. Now, of course you could use reconstant lemon juice, but I prefer a real lemon. Come on, it's a lemon. Now that we've got the lemon juice in here, it just gets easier by the minute. First you wanna do is you wanna add two tablespoons a flour. Flour is going to give it a nice thick uh, glaze to it and when you bite in you get a little bit more solidification from that. Of course you need cinnamon and nutmeg. Now then when I do my cinnamon I just kind of measure right over the bowl because I love cinnamon. Of course follow the recipe but you know what be a little daring. Same thing with the nutmeg. I like to give it a little extra shot here. I just like things a little extra spicy. Not even looking there. Now then, all we have to do is, is we've got to add a little bit of sugar. Now then, according to your preference, you can ease up or add more. Uh, this calls for about three quarters of a cup. Okay, and now it gets fun. Mix it up and that's fine. Now all I have to do is, is center your pastry dough right in your vessel, whatever, you use a pie plate, I don't care what you do, and let the dough help you out. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. I usually go around and just give it a nice little crimp and push, and make sure you've got some on the outside over the lip so the other top crust has something to hold on to because that's the delicious part. Here's the fun, dirty part. And I'm gonna dump these apples right into the pastry. And this is one thing that I love to do is one, who knew I was so delicious? But two, this is gonna be a perfect example of how we add that little bit of flavor. See, we've got all that flavor there. Why make it waste? I know I sound kind of silly, but why don't I clean my hands off a little bit on top of that pastry crust and put it on top. And now of course we're gonna seal. We're gonna seal the deal here, folks. Now then, let's get a little bit more dirty here. Do you see what I'm doing here, folks? This is just all the extra love. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of apple juice, lots of cinnamon, lots of nutmeg. And now that's gonna give our pie almost a gourmet touch. Grab your knife. I like to make sure that the slits are, your, are uniform, like that. So I've got four, and now I'm going for four more, right in between those. My big tip though, is don't go rogue on this one, you guys. Put it on a sheet pan, because if you did your job, it's gonna goo over a little bit, and that's good. That's a sign of a good pie. And through the magic of TV, 40, 45 minutes later, we're pulling out a homemade apple pie. And you know what? Thank you, River Ridge, for being in our backyard, Sparta, Michigan, producing the best apples in the country. And thank you from the hearts and minds of Chef Tommy of Kitchen Sage. <laughs>